Hello, I'm John Balding, President and CEO of Insight Vacation. As part of the Travel Corporation family of brands, Insight has a tradition of supporting unique projects in the places we take our guests, with the goal of protecting the area's cultural heritage. For the past two years, Insight has worked closely with Glasgow University's Centre for Battlefield Archaeology to unearth some of Europe's most fascinating and historically significant sites of conflict. I'm Dr Tony Pollard, Director of the Centre for Battlefield Archaeology at the University of Glasgow. I'm standing in the ruins of Cambus Kenneth Abbey, which was built in the 1100s by King David of Scotland. Not far behind us on the hill is Stirling Castle, which features quite strongly in our story. But the abbey itself could be described as a hidden gem of Scotland's history. This building is the bell tower at Cambus Kenneth Abbey built probably sometime in the 1200s. Now, being an archaeologist, I spend a lot of time digging holes in the ground, looking for history. But the thing is, if you look close enough, it's all around you, and I'm very excited today to look up at these windows in the tower and discover in the walls all of these holes. And these holes have been made by musket balls, bullets actually hitting the stone and bashing holes into it. I don't know what period this fighting dates to. I would guess maybe the mid-1600s when Oliver Cromwell was active in Scotland. But what I can do now with this forensic evidence is go back and look through the hidden records to see if there is any sort of account of a fight here, a gunfight, at Cambus Kenneth Abbey. We're not just interested in the abbey itself. It's said that there is a medieval village outside of the grounds of the abbey and that village seems to have grown up alongside this ecclesiastical centre. And a major focus for our investigation is going to be that village. What does battlefield archaeology tell us about our history? Well, for one thing, it focuses on events which took place over very short periods of time. The fighting here at Cambus Kenneth in 1314 probably lasted no more than an hour or two. But that archaeology will allow us to understand the wider perspective of that fighting, its place in the landscape and its influence on our history. I'm really delighted that Insight Vacations are sponsoring this project because the truth is without them it wouldn't be happening. Cambus Kenneth Abbey and the lands around it has played a central role in the history of Scotland but it's been a role that's been by and large overlooked. But thanks to Insight Vacations we now have an opportunity to tell that incredible story. The investigations we support have allowed battlefields to be interpreted in new and exciting ways and Insight includes several of the sites we've supported in our itineraries. To find out more about our battlefield projects and our tours, to learn about sustainable tourism and our Treadright Foundation, pick up a brochure or visit our website at insightvacations.com. I've got the statue of Robert the Bruce over my shoulder here. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people visit this site, hoping to get some idea of what happened in the Battle of Bannockburn. People love visiting battlefield sites, but so many of them go ignored, and we can certainly say that of Cambus Kennet. Now, if we can draw people's attention to that site, then we'll have done our cultural heritage a huge service.